Hello there and welcome to Sly Wagon Lessons, the channel where you tune in and I provide you with a song-based instruction on how to play the harmonica and the guitar together. A little different setup today because we're going to do something uh, just a little bit different. I thought it might be interesting to, real quick, show you how I built my suitcase uh, kick drum kit. Uh, my son and I uh, recently uh, decided that we wanted to have some uh, some suitcase kick drums, so a little father-son project. Uh, he built one, and I built one together. It was a whole lot of fun, and uh, they're neat little instruments because why only play two instruments at the same time when you can play three? So I'm going to show you how we uh, how we built them, and then later on I'll uh, demo it. Uh, I'm not very proficient on this uh, new instrument yet, uh, but we'll take a couple of uh, simple songs and we'll play the harmonica and the guitar and the drums uh, together um, at the same time. All right, so so uh, stay tuned for that. I've got another little handheld um, phone here that I can uh, zoom in and show you some of the elements of the build. So, um, to begin with, the first step was uh, finding the proper suitcases. Uh, it took me a long time to find them. I looked in a lot of uh, antique stores that are kind of uh, more junk stores. Uh, but uh, finally, I think it was the fifth or sixth one, I found uh, a cache of the right kind of suitcases in a, um, a thrift store, a value village, I think it's called. So. Um, uh, I was kind of lucky to find a couple of nice, uh, hard plastic suitcases. I won't tell you the brand name of them because I don't want to do any uh, free advertising, but uh, it rhymes with Ramsonite. Those tend to be the best ones. Very tough and very durable. All right. The next thing I did was on the uh, online classified ads. Uh, again, I don't want to advertise for a site rhymes with Rijiji, I found uh, a fellow who was unloading a lot of drum gear. So uh, I was in touch with, with him. He was very helpful. I told him the project I was working on and uh, provided me with a lot of great used uh, stuff that, uh, that he was getting rid of. So I did not want to spend a lot of money on this. So I did uh, keep everything uh, except the skin um, second hand, right, that I found in, uh, in uh, vintage places. All right, so I got the suitcase, um, and uh, one of the first things I did is identified the wood, so I guess I did buy some new wood, uh, that you mount the, um, the drum head to. So it um, sits, there's a ring that sits inside, the um, suitcase, you can see there, right? So uh, we cut it out to the proper size. I have 10 inch heads on each of these uh, suitcase uh, drums that we made. So needed to cut out a, um, a ring of the appropriate uh, dimensions. So it's uh, the interior is uh, about nine and a half and then I think it goes up to like 11 and a half. So it's a two inch rim that we cut there and then uh, cut a hole of the appropriate size in the front of the suitcase. Put up some pictures here. Just used a, a handheld uh, jigsaw, no fancy uh, tools or anything like that. Had some long um, uh, bolts that we, um, so here I'll try and zoom in on this. <laughs> uh, there it is. Some long bolts that we um, mounted the uh, drum head to the, the suitcase uh, with. Needed something, so, so um, that's kind of as you can imagine. The only other sort of intricacy that I'll let you know about is on the back here where um, it's actually the drum head uh, uh, is attached, right? So I've got um, lock washers in there so that they stay at the tension that I've um, 
that I set it to uh, for the drum. You do need something in between the metal drum head and the, uh, the, the, the suitcase and the ring that we cut. You need a band of something, wood, to, so that you can uh, tension the drum head to it, if you know what I mean. So I was in a bit of a quandary about what to use for that. I wasn't really sure because um, I did worry about cutting something, uh, you know, perfectly round. Not my strength. So uh, luckily on uh, one of the days that we were building, we, we were also making some dumplings uh, for lunch, <laughs> which had me use uh, one of these, which is a bamboo uh, steamer that uh, they use a lot for dim sum and, and uh, pot stickers, right? So you, uh, you have boiling water underneath and then it, it steams your your food in there, uh, what I discovered was that the outside rims on these things were just the right size to uh, fit under the drum head, and then you can tension the skin over it. So I didn't need to cut anything, and these are not expensive. I went down to Chinatown, and uh, in a grocery store there, they've got lots of them, uh, and, uh, and got one. At the uh, of the right size, and then you just had to disassemble it. I didn't need to uh, do any extra cutting, so that was kind of uh, a bonus there. Um, then the pedals I've attached um, to the bottom. Um, you can see the bars. So that's a bar like uh, this that I found at the hardware store, and it's got those um, holes in it, right? So uh, cut it to the proper length, given how far away I wanted my pedals to be. And then on the inside, uh, drilled holes on the inside. Right? And um, they just come up through and then I put a wing nut on there so that it's um, removable. Because I do intend to uh, use this uh, to gig. So you want it to be portable. It's got a handle, so that's cool. Uh, those pedals come off and go inside, and then you can just uh, carry this thing around. All right? Uh, so trial and error on getting to the right tension. I really don't know anything about drums, so um, but I just kind of increased the tension equally around the, um, around the drum head until I got to what I thought sounded... Uh, sounded good, and um, that was that, all right? Then the other pedal is uh, for the tambourine, and I've got um, the same drum guy that sold me all of the uh, accessories, had some, some old tambourines. I didn't feel that I wanted to use the entire tambourine uh, because it was a bit big and unwieldy, and I have seen other... Uh, builds where they um, they have these little very tiny sort of tambourines with a strap that you can wrap around the back. Um, I didn't want to buy a new tambourine uh, because I was trying to keep this inexpensive. So uh, instead I cut up the tambourine that I had and I've attached it to the top of this um, I've attached it to the top of this uh, license plate just with some u-bolts here and then in the back there's a plate and again some uh, some washers and uh, nuts to uh, to keep it tight those do with repeated use loosen off so you end up needing to uh, retighten them from time to time but the the pedal is attached at the bottom with the same bar and the wing nuts on the inside and then that sounds like that all right uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions uh, about the building of the, uh, the suitcase drum, uh, please put them in the comments uh, section and uh, I will get back to you with uh, whatever um, assistance I can offer if you want to set out to, to build one of these things. Um, a couple of uh, other things that I'm, uh, well, I want to show you 
like I said, the pedals come off because they're just attached with wing nuts there. Uh, and then this is a bag. I think sheets, bed sheets came in this bag. So um, just to keep things together and make sure that they don't hit that skin, I, um, I put them in the bag. The bag goes in the suitcase uh, and, uh, and you're good to go. The other thing for a fellow my age, I don't like sitting, like I'm going to sit on this uh, today when I show you how I, uh, how I play it, but long term, I don't much want to sit on a handle on the top of a suitcase. So uh, I've got this, which is off of um, the rock band drum kit that we had when, uh, when the kids were little. Uh, still kicking around the house. So I'm going to uh, repurpose that and put a bit of a peg on the top that I can sit that on. Again, it's going to be temporary. It's got a wing nut here, so I can uh, take it on and off, put it inside uh, with the pedals and carry that around. But that's going to be a whole lot more comfortable than uh, sitting on the handle of the, uh, the luggage. All right, so that's the build. Again, uh, please put any questions in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Right now, I'm going to try and play this thing. All right, sports fans, I am perched atop my suitcase drum kit. I got my flat guitar in my lap, and of course, this being Sly Wagon Lessings, I've got the harmonica in the rack, and uh, we're going to try this thing out. This is a G harmonica, by the way. I'm going to be playing a song in first position in the key of G. I'm going to try to add in some percussion and see how it goes. All right, here we go. So that seemed to work okay. Uh, it does take a little bit more um, coordination to uh, keep the uh, percussion going at the proper rhythm. Uh, and you might have noticed there that uh, I had, did have some trouble with the, uh, the chord changes. But uh, I'll get used to it. And uh, hey, this is a lot of fun. You should build one of these and, uh, and uh, try it out your own self. All right. So I'm going to play another one here. Also in the key of G, because I don't want to bother uh, switching. Uh, this is uh, in first position as well. I want to thank you for tuning in today, and I want to uh, ask you to please subscribe to Sly Wagon Lessons for song-based instruction on how to play the uh, harmonica and the guitar together. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again.
black pockets and sack singing on the radio. 